Hello everybody, my name is Fletcher Stump and welcome back to Radioactive Inc. Now today I'm gonna go ahead and do a top 10 list because uh, I've been wanting to throw one in for a little while but uh, you know just haven't really come up with anything. So I uh, you know for the past couple days I have been brainstorming and I decided that Ant-Man is hitting theaters here in just a few days so I decided to do a top 10 Marvel character list now this is through the entire Marvel Universe it is both heroes and villains so uh, you know I kinda I, I sat through and went through like every every single Marvel character that I knew and could think of and because I'm a, I'm a big Marvel fan. I grew up with Marvel. I grew up reading the comic books and all of that. Now, for those of you who are more DC fans, don't worry. I will also be doing a top 10 DC character list because I am also a fan of DC comics. So, uh, I guess we should just jump right into this and start us off with number 10. So, bringing it in at number 10 on the bottom of the list is Blade from the Blade movies. Now, he is a Marvel character for, uh, you know, those who may not have known. I mean, uh, but he's at the bottom of the list because he, yes, he is a vampire and he has, uh, you know, speed and strength. Uh, he doesn't have super speed and he doesn't have, you know, super strength. So there is a limit to what he's capable of. But, I mean, let's face it. Wesley Snipes playing Blade? Total badass. You couldn't get a better guy to play that character. So that's why he's in at the bottom. Uh, at number nine, we have Daredevil. Now, he is on the list because, I mean, again, just a badass. Uh, he's blind. But, I mean, he is able to see kind of like with a sonar type thing, you know, the noise echoes and then comes back to him and he's able to kind of get a picture of, of what's out there. Now, again, he doesn't have any, like, he doesn't have any great speed or great strength, so he is, that's why he's low on the list. So, but I mean, Daredevil, he, he's an awesome character. I think the concept behind it is, is just awesome. I mean, he, you know, no sight, but he's still kicking ass. I mean, I, I think that's an amazing concept for a character because he has a limitation, which, you know, most most like superheroes or supervillains would rely on what they can see to know what they're going to do. He doesn't need to do that. Ugh. Sorry if you could hear that. I'm, I'm a little hungry. I haven't eaten lunch. I'll probably do that after I, uh, after I get this episode done. <laughs> uh, at number 8 on our list we have Juggernaut from the X-Men series Ugh, itchy we, we have Juggernaut from the X-Men series now he makes it to the list because he has some serious strength behind him I mean once he gets going that's it you either get out of the way or you are mowed down and I mean he he's just He's just this big hulking mass of person, and I mean, he, he can bust through anything. I mean, there's a steel wall in his way, he gets going, it's gone. There's a tank, he run, he ran it over, that's it, he crushed it. But I mean, he's, he's at number eight because there are, again, some limitations to that. He doesn't have, you know, this immense speed to help with the strength, so I mean, if you can outrun him, that, that's it. He, he can't catch you unless you stop and wait for him. Which probably wouldn't be a smart move because then he would just kind of run you over and squish you and then you'd be gone. At number seven, number seven on the list, we have Nightcrawler again from the X-Men series. Now Nightcrawler is on the list because, I mean, let's face it, who wouldn't love the ability to teleport? You could go anywhere and pretty much nothing would be out of your reach. I mean, I know some people would use it for, for bad purposes, but I mean, it could also be used for good purposes. I mean, 
There's a building on fire, somebody trapped inside. Teleport, grab them, you're out. Simple as that. I mean, you know, for bad purposes, like, ooh, a bank vault. Teleport, grab, out. I do not promote the use of superpowers for wrongdoing. Superpowers are meant to be used for good. All right, <laughs> bringing it in at number six on the list, we have Captain America. Oh yeah, just so everybody knows, I do keep looking down because I, I have it written down on notebook. You know, I, I like to I like to have my notes laid out and in front of me. This way I don't forget anything. I mean, you know, it, it happens, we, we forget things. Uh, number six is Captain America. Because, I mean, let's face it, who doesn't want that badass shield? The thing is pretty much indestructible. The only things that can, uh, that can pretty much break it are, uh, you know, anything of, like, universal destruction. Like, in the comic book series, the shield has been broken several times. But only by, like, reality bending or universal power. Like, uh... You know, in the comic book series, the shield is broken by Thanos, who literally just kind of smacks it. And uh, he has, you know, universal destruction powers. So that that's why the shield is broken. But I mean, let's face it, that shield is so badass, Superman wants one. There's a crossover comic for that. You guys might want to check it out. But I mean, he, Captain America, he, he has very good speed. He has very good strength. He can... You know, he can bench press like a ton, or sorry, half a ton. He can bench press half a ton by himself. He can run at 70 miles an hour, which is really impressive. Uh, he's able to process things a lot faster than we are. Uh, I mean, he can't get drunk. That's, that's a bonus. I mean, I know some of you would love that power. <laughs> Again, I do not condone over drinking. Don't do it. Don't ever drink and drive. Get my vape on. Uh, but I mean, he, and he, you know, he uses his abilities for, for good things. I mean, you know, he puts the welfare of like everybody else way above himself, which, which is great. I mean, that, that's what a hero should be. But again, you know, with no immense super strength or immense super speed, he brings it in at number six. So, moving right along into our top five, uh, at number five we have Magneto, again from the X-Men series. There, there are a lot of people from the X-Men series on this, because I mean, <laughs> there, there's a lot of people in the X-Men universe, I mean, let's face it. Uh, but Magneto makes it into this, I mean, because he has the power to control all types of metal, and in this day and age, that's pretty much what everything is made out of. So, I mean, with this power, you have the ability to literally bring down a city. I mean, with just, without any effort. I mean, that is amazing. Because, I mean, you know, we use metal for everything nowadays. I mean, you, you, I, I dare you to find, like, one thing, like, one major thing we use that does not have metal in it. And I mean, yeah, some people would say, oh, oh, you know, we have this or that. It's like, there's still metal in it. He doesn't need a lot. He just needs a little bit. I mean, that's it. He, he only needs like a little bit of metal, like the size of a coin. And that's it. He's got it. Uh, but there are limitations to his powers. I mean, he can only bend metal. You know, he can't. He doesn't have super speed, doesn't have super strength, no telekinetic powers. It's just metal. Which, I mean, is still an amazing power, but, I mean, with those kinds of limitations, therein lies the problem. Uh, at number four, we have Mystique, again, from the X-Men series. Now, Mystique's power, uh, she makes it at number four, because, I mean, Mystique can transform into anybody that she has seen, which would be an amazing power. Imagine what you could do with that. I mean, just trying... Heck, just transform into Bill Gates and, you know, get pretty much everything for free. Just be like, eh, charge it to the Microsoft account. <laughs> that probably wouldn't work, but I mean, just, just think of the possibilities behind that. You could transform into anybody, which would just be amazing. 
I mean, just walk down the street as the president. <laughs> uh, you know, but I mean, that that is just an incredible power. I, I would love to have that ability. I don't think I would use it all that much because I like the way I look. I'm also not too fond of being blue. Like, I know that's how the character is portrayed, but me, I don't, I'm not much for the color blue. You know, in case you couldn't tell. Black shirt. Eh. All right, at number three, we have Leech from the X-Men series again. Like I said, there's a lot of X-Men people on this. There's a one, two, three, four, five. There's six people from the X-Men series on this list. So, I mean, don't hold it against me. <laughs> I grew up with X-Men. I mean, that, that, that it, it's a great series. I love it. There's so many comics on it. But, I mean, I did. I grew up with the X-Men series. My dad was a huge Marvel fan, and I mean, so am I. Wrong side. Spider-Man, right there. You know, I, I'm a Marvel guy. I am. But uh, at number three, we have Leech. And he makes it this high up on the list because of his power. I mean, in, in a certain proximity, he has the ability to cancel out other powers, which I mean, that, that is a huge thing. I mean, to, to like stop Magneto, all you have to do is get like, you know, 30 feet away from the guy and pfft, there you go, no more powers. I mean, that, that's incredible. The ability to cancel out other powers, that, that is just amazing. That is a very strong power. And I mean, he doesn't really need super speed or super strength with that. All he has to do is just get in a certain proximity to them and their powers are gone as long as he is within that proximity. Itchy nose. Ugh, sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and move on to number two. And we have Doctor Strange from the uh, Marvel Universe itself. Uh, Doctor Strange makes it this high on the list because he doesn't need super strength, he doesn't need super speed, or anything like that. He has, well, magic, pretty much, on his side. And that is just a phenomenal power because there, there's limitations to that, yes, but none that are, you know, so big that it could stop him from doing just about anything he wanted. I mean, oh my god, my nose is so itchy. Ugh, sorry, I, I'm sorry. But, I mean, he doesn't... There, there's not any like major limitations to that. I mean, yes, he ages, but imagine what he could do, you know, before he gets old and dies, you know? I mean, it is incredible the amount of power he has. But, and, you know, we're going to go ahead and move on. And we're going to come to number one on our top ten Marvel character list to Professor Charles Xavier from the X-Men series. Now, Professor X makes it all the way to number one because of his ability. He he has a uh, telepathy, but ah, itchy. Sorry, my nose is just really itchy. I have no idea why. But he makes it all the way to number one because he has telepathy, and it is so far advanced that he doesn't just read your mind. He has the ability to, you know, freeze an entire airport of people dead in their tracks and make it so that they don't remember anything. He can get into someone's head, control them, move them around, you know. He could make you think you were a ballerina for the rest of your life if he was so inclined. But, I mean, it's, it's an incredible power and, I mean, you know, he doesn't have super speed or super strength or anything like that, but he doesn't need it. Because, I mean, you're coming in with super speed. All he has to do is just get a lock on your mind and you're done. You can't move. That's it. He could make you think He could make you think that you didn't have powers anymore. And then there goes your super speed. There goes your super strength. I mean, it's, it's an incredible ability. And it, he has such a strong mind that he can just pretty much do whatever he feels he needs to to accomplish his goals, which is incredible. But that brings it to the end of our top ten list for Marvel characters. 
Uh, for you DC fans out there, don't worry, I will be putting out a top 10 DC character list. Uh, but it probably won't be until after the weekend because I am hitting up Pittsburgh for the 5K Night Nation run. And oh my god, I am so pumped for that. Uh, if there's anyone out there who, you know, is attending the run and watches the show, I really hope to meet up with you guys because I, I love meeting people, I do. Um, I'm not all that much of a people person, but I do like meeting new people. And, you know, I, I do like having conversations with new people. So if you watch the show and you're going to be at the Night Nation run, I'll be there. Come find me. Say hello. I don't bite. I'm not scary. At least I try not to be scary. Uh, but on a uh, other bit of news, etch -a sketch is going to try doing some solo episodes for you guys. Uh, you know, he's kind of gotten into gear with that. I mean, his work schedule is pretty, pretty crammed. But he is going to try and make some time to do some solo episodes for you guys and get those uploaded. So, you know, I hope you guys, you know, keep watching and show some support. I mean, he, he, he says he's, you know, still kind of awkward on camera, which, I mean, I can understand. But, I mean, show him some love. Show him some support. And, you know, if you want to keep up with the show and, you know, you want to keep up with the things we do, uh, go ahead and click that little subscribe button right down there. should be right there underneath the video. And, you know, stay with the channel. Subscribe and keep up to date with the videos that we're doing. I mean, we're going to try some do, we're going to try and do some more uh, duo episodes with me and him. But, you know, with the work schedules, we have to try and make time for that. Uh, but... Until then, I hope you enjoyed the show. If you have your own favorite Marvel character, feel free to go ahead and leave it in the comments. Uh, there will be a link to the Facebook page and the Twitter page in the description below. So until then, this is Fletcher Stump with Radioactive Inc. Signing out. I came to party